Yeah, with us is David Pitter. David, uh, in the qualification, it was the uh, 62nd place. Uh, are you pleased with the, with the position? Yes, I am. Um, so I'm running in an am amateur class car. So that means uh, there are three bronze graded drivers and myself, a silver graded driver. So as a result of it, there are three gentlemen drivers driving an M6 GT3 car around Spa in the most competitive GT championship is not their day-to-day -day work. This is their enjoyment. So we're never going to be fighting for the top 10 or, or, or the top, um, top 20, top 30 even overall because it's so, so competitive here. Um, however, when we actually break that down into class, we're P8 in class, which is very good. We had one lap time disallowed, unfortunately, for track limits, uh, which I think if we'd have had that, we would have been a much higher up. Um, but the fact that um, Don, Don Yont and uh, Anders Buckhart uh, put, put, putting out two 23s is a really great achievement. I mean, as a professional, I'm doing a high two minute 20 lap. So for them to be just under three seconds off of my time around Spa in full qualifying is, I think, a, a fantastic effort. And if we can keep, keep that consistent pace up for 24 hours, then that's what's going to get us our result. Not ultimate pace, but banging in those consistent results, keeping out of trouble. Uh, and yeah, we feel massively confident and motivated that at least a podium is on the cards for our car. So what do you expect uh, for the race? Great question. If I knew that and if I knew the weather, then I could give you a straight answer. But this whole week has been massively hot. Um, I'm kind of glad that we're not racing in these conditions because it will be massively demanding on, on the drivers and the cars. So to have it cooler is better, but the fact that we're going to get a lot of rain, I wouldn't be surprised if there's a red flag in the middle of the race at some point. So we'll really have to see how that plays out. When the rain's going to come, I think it's going to come very heavy. So it'll be a case of trying to survive uh, and not have any incident then wait for the rain to, to go because again I think the ground's going to be very uh, warm so any water will drain and then evaporate very quickly meaning it will turn to dry very quickly again as well so yeah as long as we can survive the heavy showers um, and stay out of trouble then um, I think it's going to be drier on Sunday then we have good pace in the car the M6 is a proven winner around this circuit so um, we will be looking to make up a lot of time on the Sunday afterwards. What would be your favourite weather condition? Hmm, that's a good question. I haven't done a lot in, in the M6 in the wet, I must admit. I think I'd prefer it to be dry because Spa in a GT3 car is just mega. It's so fast and the corners are really challenging, but it suits the car really well. Medium and high speed corners uh, is where the car is fast. So, yeah, I'd probably prefer the dry because I think that's where we'd be most competitive. So it's your first start at uh, 24 hours of Spa, uh, how was your preparation? Uh, so we were here three weeks ago for the official test, so we had two days of testing which was uh, really good. Um, we went straight into, into a race weekend which gave me the opportunity to learn the Blancpain spec of car and the Pirelli tyre. So in the VLN where I'm most experienced we have Yokohama tyres um, and a different balance of performance regulation much less power, almost 80 to 90 brake horsepower. So driving the uh, M6 with much more power is, is really fun and really rewarding. Uh, the tyres aren't as good as the Yokohama tyre, so it's a case of learning, changing my driving style to adapt to that. But it's come together really well. In qualifying yesterday, we may have qualified uh, sort of 22nd overall, but as, as an average time. However, I was able to match Nikki works driver, Nikki Katzberg, works driver, Mikael Jensen and Christian Krognes, who is one of the fastest guys in an M6 um, anyways. So I'm really, really pleased with my performance to have matched those guys. Um, so, yeah, I've got the question, I must admit. <laughs> well, David Pitter, uh, we wish you good luck and hope that you uh, can have a good result and see you at the next VLN race. Yes, yes, I hope to have uh, brought home a good result and yes, see you back at the Nordschleife.